similar, similar outcome. Oh, it just sounds like a hundred ways to kill it. Did that, did that kill the cat? Yeah, it did, yes. We said. Okay. <laughs> Good times. All right, childhood trauma. Go, let's begin class, all right? <laughs> Um, good morning, good afternoon. I know it's noon there. Um, I'm Adam. I'll take you all through class. Hi, Latika. Glad you made it. All right. Let's come bring the toes and heels together so they touch side by side. And look down to make sure that your feet are lined up. One foot isn't floored in front of the other one and that they're pointing straight forward instead of to the left or to the right. With that said, spread out your toes nice and wide on your mat. And we can get started with our breathing. Go ahead and interlace your fingers. Bring your knuckles right underneath your chin, touching like they're glued together. Thumbs touch your throat. Stand up very straight and tall. Lean your weight back and together, please begin. Inhale through your nose. Drag the air along the back of your throat and bring your elbows up. Bring your chest up and stand up a little taller. Full lungs. Exhale through your mouth. Nice loud ha sound. Look all the way back towards the wall behind you and squeeze your elbows together to touch. Inhale through your nose, slowly bring your head down and slowly bring your elbows up. Bring your chest up and stand up as tall as you can. Exhale through your mouth. Nice loud ha sound. Look all the way back towards the wall and squeeze your elbows together to touch. Inhale, weight on your heels, squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, bring your chest up, spine straight, and stand up a little bit taller. Exhale through your mouth. Nice, loud, ha sound. Push your knuckles right into your chin, stomach in, elbows touch. Inhale for one, two, three, four, look forward, five, six, elbows up. Exhale, six, five, four, Three, look back, two, one, elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, stand up taller. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one, stomach in. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, weight on your heels. Exhale, six. Five, four, three, look back, two, one, weight on your heels. Inhale, so each breath a little deeper than the one before. Bring your head down, bring your elbows up, chest up and take in just a little bit more than you did last time. Exhale through your mouth, nice loud ha sound. Looking back, yes, reaching your chin up. Yep, yep, nice long neck, elbows touch. Inhale for one, two, Three, four, five, six, stand up taller. Exhale, six, five, four, three, look back, two, one, elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, weight on your heels. Exhale, six, five, four, three, look back, two, one, weight on your heels. Inhale, one, Two, three, four, look forward, five, six, elbows up. Exhale, six, five, four, three, look back, two, one, elbows touch. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, stand up taller. And exhale, six, five, four, three, look back, two, one, all the way empty. And when you are, change arms down to the side. And for the rest of the class, please breathe in and out through your nose. Toes and heels still touch, and please bring arms up above your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, and cross your thumbs. Squeeze your palms together all the way closed here. Straighten out your elbows. Take a deep breath, stretch all the way up to the ceiling, and slowly bring your body over right and left. High amber. Right and left and right and left and right and left, like 10 or 15 times or so. And every time you pass the center, don't just pass the center, stretch up a little bit taller like you're going to touch the ceiling to continue to lengthen in your lower spine. Come on up here, stop right in the center. Bring your hips forward a little bit and bring your body weight back onto your heels. Lift up your chin, 
Bring your arms back. Take one more very deep breath in. Stretch all the way up towards the ceiling and slowly bring your body over to the right side in a straight line without bending your elbows and without bending your knees. Please squeeze your thighs and squeeze your butt and pull your stomach in and up. Turn on the muscles in your pelvic floor and steady push your hips over to the left side of the room. And as you do every inhale, lift the left side of your rib cage up to the ceiling more and reach all the way out and over towards your right. Bring your weight back on your heels and bring your left hip forward, two hips and one line. Steven, a little bit left hip forward if you can. Mm -hmm. There it is. A right shoulder forward to open up your chest this last bit. Arms back, chin up, squeeze your palms shut and come down. Hips over to the left side, lift and reach and stretch a little farther over towards your right. Change, nice Katie. Come back up, stop in the center, tuck your tail, lift your chin, weight on your heels, deep breath in, stretch all the way up to the ceiling and slowly come over to the left side in a straight line again, without bending your elbows, without bending your knees. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, and pull your stomach in and up. Turn on the muscles in your pelvic floor and steady push your hips over to the right side of the room beyond your flexibility, yes. Not leaning, but lifting. So every inhale, lift the right side of your rib cage up more and reach all the way out and over towards your left. Here, please bring your right hip forward, two hips, one line from the side. David, good, right hip forward. Katie, right hip forward a little bit more, a little bit more there. A left shoulder forward to open up your chest. Last little bit, arms back, David, chin up slightly and come down. Hips over to the right side, squeeze thighs, squeeze butt, pull your stomach in and up. Come down, reach a little farther over towards towards your left, change, come back up, stop in the center. All right, first set back or bend. Let your head come all the way back, eyes open, mouth closed, straighten out your elbows. Take a deep breath in, lift your chest up towards the ceiling and let's go. Bring your eyes and your arms back a few inches and pause there. Take another deep breath, lift your chest up to the ceiling. Bring your eyes and arms back a few more inches and pause there. Inhale again, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Bring your eyes and arms back a few more inches. Pause there, straighten your elbows, y'all. Take another deep breath in, lift your chest up towards the ceiling. Eyes and arms back a few more inches. Last time, inhale, lift your chest up to the ceiling. Strong arms and go for it. Please really go for it. Head back. Eyes back, arms back, body back, go back, reach straight down towards the floor. Slowly lift yourself back up. Yes, pull in the stomach, bend your knees and slowly bring your body down. Touch your hands, 10 fingers onto the floor. Hands down on the ground. Let your head hang, shake your head out. Yes, no, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, like 10 or 15 times. And as you're down here, please see that your feet are still together, touching side by side, no space in between them. All right, with that said, we can go ahead and bend your knees halfway, reach around and grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. And uh, yes, elbows wrap back around behind your legs. All right, with that, there, hang your head down, good strong grip and steady smooth breath. Let's pull and stretch your body down from the lower spine to the floor. And it is very okay, every single posture is up to you, how deep you're going, what you want from it, the class entirely is your choice. But in case you want to get a little more flexible going forward, you gotta go a little farther than you might like to go in order to get there. Once you're there, you're there, but go ahead and pull a little bit more if your goal is to lock out your knees, for example. Stomach on the thighs and chest on the knees and face touch your shins below the knees, good. Katie, if you can push the inside edges of your feet down to the ground and see if you can squeeze your knees together a little bit more. Now last little bit here, pull on your heels. Yes, press your knees back, good. Reach your hips up and stretch your body down. Roll forward, lift your hips. And one more time, try to lock your knees. Change, slowly come up the same way you went down. All right, and when you're all the way up, reach your arms out and down and good. Take a moment, catch your breath. All right, second set. Inhale your arms right back up over your head. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, squeeze your palms together nice and tight and see if you can straighten your elbows like all the way. So you're gonna reach your arms up while keeping your shoulders down 
in the sockets. Take a super deep breath in, stretch all the way up towards the ceiling and slowly come over to your right side in a straight line. Without bending your elbows and without bending your knees. Squeeze your thighs, squeeze your butt, pull your stomach in and lift and reach and stretch a little bit more out and over towards your right side. Here, please bring your left hip forward, two hips, one line. Richard, Stephen, a little bit left hip forward for y'all. A mm, little bit more if you can, Stephen. And right shoulder forward to open up your chest. And last little bit here, if you're able, squeeze your palms together, straighten out your elbows, bring your arms back, lift your chin up, pull your stomach in, spread your toes and squeeze your butt, come down. Hips over left side, reach more over towards your right. Slowly change, good, come back up, stop in the center. Tuck your tail, lift your chin, inhale, stretch up towards the ceiling and slowly come over to the left side. Straight line again, without bending your elbows, Without bending the knees, good with the arms, David. Squeeze the thighs, squeeze the butt. Katie, right hip forward just a little bit. It's just this side. The other side's gold. Perfect, perfect, good. All right, so right hip forward, two hips, one line from the side. And left shoulder forward to open up your chest. Wonderful, Richard. Everything's good. Just arms back an inch if possible, yes. And lift the chin up, David, just a little bit more. Up just a little bit more, that's it, good. And come down, send your hips over to the right side. Lift up, reach and stretch a little farther out and over towards your left. Slowly change, come back up, stop in the center. Second set of backward bend. Let your head come all the way back, eyes open, mouth closed, and right here. Can you straighten your elbows as much as possible? Like, you know, as very much as you're doing in half moon, maybe more now, because your head's not in the way. Inhale, lift your chest up towards the ceiling and bring your eyes and arms back a few inches and pause there. Inhale again, lift your chest up and bring your eyes back a few more inches and pause there. Inhale again, lift your chest up, bring your eyes, arms back a few more inches and pause there. Inhale again, lift your chest up to the ceiling, bring your eyes and arms back a few more inches and pause there. Inhale again, lift your chest up, this is the last time, strong arms, head back, eyes back, arms back, body back, go back, reach all the way down towards the floor and super slowly change. Lift back up, slow, 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 good. Pull in the stomach, bend the knees and slowly bring your body down. Good, coming out of backward bend slowly is a wonderful ab workout, so good. Most people zip right out of it, skip all the goodness there. It's a good thing to do. Let your head hang heavy down, shake your head out. Yes, no, right, left, wiggle your hips. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. All right, back at it again, bend your knees, reach around, grab your heels from behind, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. All right, so baby fingers touch and elbows wrap back around behind your legs, touching on your calf muscles. Hang your head, good grip, steadily pull and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. So use your pulling muscles, use your fingertip strength, your forearm muscles, your elbows bending, your biceps bulging, pull your shoulders up towards the ceiling as you slide your upper body down your legs and roll your weight forward, reaching the top of your head towards your toes. Roll forward, pull on your heels, push your knees back, lift your butt up, stretch your body down, roll forward, lift Lift your hips, roll forward, touch your face, roll forward, lock your knees, change, get lift up, arms and head together, all the way back up, arms out, arms down, find that stillness right there, looks good. Okay, one set of awkward posture today, step your right foot out to the right side, about hip width distance between your feet, feet go straight forward towards the front and arms up parallel to the floor, boom. All five fingers together, touching side by side, and tricep muscles nice and tight, contracted. Stretch your fingers forward, draw your belly in, and right away, please go ahead and sit down into your chair. Sit down and sit back. Good, perfect height there, Katie. Right down into the chair, y'all, a little bit lower. Everybody except for Katie, sit a little lower down and sit even farther back. You look good there, Ember, all right, no lower. And then draw the belly in very much. Lift your chest up very much. 
and lean your whole upper body back so your total spine is backward bending and all your body weight comes back onto the heels. Good, Richard. Shoulders down a little bit and retract the scapula. Pull the shoulder blades a little bit closer in towards the spine and sit your hips back. Lift your chest up. Lean your body back. Stretch your fingers forward and lean your whole upper body back one more time here at the end change. Second part, come all the way up on your tippy toes, maximum like a ballerina. And do you remember, we only have one set of this today, okay? We're not going to do this again. Sit up really straight with your spine. So that means like, go get it, right? Sit up tall, draw the belly in, and sit right down into the chair for three, two, one. Right down into your chair. Not a bar stool chair, perfect Katie. Not a baby seat chair. What are you doing up there, Amber? Right down into the chair, chair, and come all the way up on your toes. Stay with me. Good, David. Lift your heels up more. All the way up on your toes. Let this shake. Lift your knees up more. Sit up a little bit straighter, strong. Arm, Steven. Stretch your fingers forward, shoulders down, Richard. Now, one more time, y'all. All the way up onto your tippy, 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 tippy toes. Change. All the way back up. Keep your arms up there, please. Breathe through the burning. Come up on your toes. Squeeze your knees together. Pull your stomach in and slowly, slowly come on down for 10 little seconds. Look forward and see if you can soften your jaw when possible. Mouth relaxed, tongue relaxed, all the way down till hips and heels are half an inch gap from each other. Legs parallel to the floor and arms parallel to the legs. All right, so like if I put a tennis ball on your lap, roll the ball downwards, slope your knees down towards the floor while you sit up tall with your spine. Squeeze your knees together, draw in your belly and roll, roll slow. Come on back up for five. Come on up, so, so, four, three, two, one, good. All right, step back, feet together. Notice how quickly the burning comes and notice how quickly the burning goes away. These things don't last forever. The good times, the bad, everything's changing. Arms right back above your head, in or, uh, yes, arms up over your head. And let's take your right arm underneath your left arm. Wrap cross, twist, hands, palms together. Thumbs towards your face, baby fingers towards the front. Pull your elbows down to the floor and sit down into the chair. Bring your hips down and back like awkward part number one. Lift up your chest. Try not to bring your hips up as you bring your right leg high up and over your, right, your left leg. All five toes wrap around your calf muscle, getting them visible in the mirror. And if your foot will go all the way around there, then sit down there low into the chair and squeeze your legs tight against each other, bringing your knees to your right and elbows over to your left and pull your legs like away from each other. So right knee to your right and left knee to your left to activate the outsides of your hips. Sit down, kick your right foot to the back of your left calf, lift your chest up. Amber, last little bit, try to get the seam of your palms to face more forward. And the hands to be like right in front of your nose. Sit down, down, down. Lift your chest up, 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 yep. And lean your body back at the end. Change. Good. Unwrap. Arms up over your head. Oh, that was a long one, huh? Okay. Bring your left arm underneath your right arm. Wrap cross twist. Hands palms together. I guess since that one is long, we better do a long one this side too. Pull your elbows down and sit down into the chair. Hips down and back. Stay down there with the hips. Left leg high. Up over your right leg. So all five toes wrap around your calf muscle. And if your foot will go around there, wonderful. Sit down there low into the chair, chair. Squeeze your legs very tight against each other. All right, so again, sit down, squeeze, and pull left knee to the left and right knee to the right to activate the outsides of your hips. Kick your left foot into the back of your right calf and spread your right toes wider. Seam of your palms face forwards. Hands right in front of your face for the proper beak to the lovely eagle. Sit down, 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 lift your chest up, 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 and lean your body back one more time at the end. Change. Good hold, y'all. Unwrap. Arms up. Out and down, and party time. Have some water if you would like it. All right. And when you are here, let us come back and stand with your feet together, touching side by side. Shift your weight over to your left leg, wipe your hands on your pants, 
Find something to look at that stays quite still and please bring your right leg up. Flex your right toes back towards your face. Try to make sure your right heel is directly underneath your right knee. Round forward and grab your right foot a few inches below the toe with all 10 fingers interlaced. Nice tight grip, please don't lose the grip. And look forward, concentrate on that one thing and just focus in your mind's eye about your standing legs. Standing legs strong, quadricep contracted, yes, but the front of the shin engaged, the back of your calf, your hamstring up to your left glute, all the muscles around the bone strong. Press the floor away from you. Pull your stomach in, lift your chest up and slowly kick your right leg forward towards the front until your leg comes up parallel to the floor, not higher or lower than that. Heel forward, flex your foot right back in towards your face, so five toes point in towards your nose, and when both legs are locked, and from the side, it's like an L. Slowly bend your elbows down alongside your calf muscle. Eventually, they will go down below your calf muscle, and if you're ready from there, very gently chin into your chest and forehead to your knee, bring it down there, round your spine up, squeeze your elbows in and hold, slowly change, come out just like you came in, and step right back down to the floor. Pretty good exits, y'all. Yes, I remember, change, I'll try not to even say change, like come out the same way you went in, piece by little piece. Shift your weight over to your right leg, wipe your hands, please bring your left leg up and flex your left toes back. Round down, grab your left foot a few inches below the toe with 10 fingers interlaced. Nice tight grip, please don't lose your grip. And look forward, concentrate one point on this right leg, mind's eye, right thigh, contracted, front of the right shin, back of the right calf, up to the hamstring, to your right glute. Spread your right toes, press the floor away, pull your stomach in and slowly kick your left leg forward to the front until your leg comes up parallel to the floor, good. And moving slow so you have control every little step of the way. Heel forward, flex your foot right back towards your face. Nice, Katie, five toes point right in at your nose. Yes, Richard, nice, Steven. And when both legs are locked in from the side, it's like an L, then slowly bend your elbows down alongside your calf muscle. It's okay if you have fallen, try it one more time. In the last few seconds, if you're ready, chin to the chest and head to the knee. Last few seconds, flex the foot, squeeze the elbows in slowly change come out just like you came in awesome and step back down hands on your hips quick little backward bend okay awesome and second set we'll go um for five seconds on each little piece you all have done this before shift your weight to your left leg wipe your hands please bring your right foot up flex your toes back are you ready round down boom boom go get it right foot in your hand for five four lock your knee three two one, kick your right leg forward, five, four, three, two, one, bend your elbows down, five, four, three, best you can, two, one, and head to the knee for five, four, elbows in, three, two, one, hold it there, five, four, three, two, one, bring your head up, five, four, three, two, one, one, straight in your elbows, five, four, three, two, and one, bend the knee, five, four, three, two, one. Good, step back down. All right, so if you do fall out of it, don't worry about that. Pick it up, meet us wherever we are, and we'll still come out together, okay? Fall down, big deal. Just do it again. Shift the weight to the right leg. Wipe the hands, please. Left leg up. Flex the toes together. Round down and grab your left foot a few inches below the toe. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Kick your left foot forward. Five, four, three, two, one. One, bend your elbows down for five, four, three, two, flex your foot, one, and head to the knee for five, four, three, two, one, hold it there for five, four, three, elbows in, two, one, slowly head up, five, four, three, two, one, straighten your elbows, five, four, try again if you fell, three, two, one, and bend the knee for five, four, three, two, 
one. Good. All right. Don't worry about falling over. If it's challenging, you're doing very good. All right. Hands on your hips. Quick little backward bend. Come back up and stop in the center and standing bow pulling poses next, please. Bring your right hand up. Turn your right arm out to the side and reach down. Grab your right foot from the inside at your ankle. Two knees together, touch side by side. Bring your left arm up to the ceiling, shoulder close to the chin and the palm face the front. Make sure your left foot is pointing straight forward, not turning. Inhale, reach up towards the ceiling. Slowly go ahead and kick your right leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard and high and continuously as you can. So your right shoulder will pull back invisible behind you. And so your left arm strong, stretch straight forward, left shoulder come all the way underneath your chin and two shoulders in one line. You're kicking backwards, it's keeping you up, you're reaching forwards, it's reaching forwards and equal simultaneous 50-50. And if you've lost any balance, don't worry, pick it up, try again, go a little slower. Bring some more strength, y'all, in your left standing leg. Squeeze your left thigh, please. Bring your body down, stretch your left arm forward. Bring your body down, kick your right leg back, point your toe, kick, kick kick, kick, kick. Slowly lift yourself back up and step right back down. Good, shift your weight over to your other leg and bring your left hand up, palm face the ceiling, turn your arm out to the side, reach down, grab your foot from the inside at your ankle. Two knees together, touch side by side and right arm up to the ceiling, shoulder close to the chin, palm face the front. Arm back, chin up, make sure your right toes are pointing straight forward and slowly go ahead and kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling as hard and high and continuously as you can. Let your left shoulder pull back invisible behind you and strong use your right arm, reach it straight forward in front of you, right shoulder come all the way underneath your chin and two shoulders in one line. Good, kicking backwards. Yes, Steven, reaching forwards, equal, simultaneous, 50-50. And if you've lost the balance, please don't worry, try again. Every time you fall down, we'll teach you something if you learn from it. Let your body come down, stretch your arm forward, kick your leg back, kick, 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 change. Good, lift up and step right back down. All right, very good exits. All right, in second set, let's try it again. So just again, noticing if it's been a long time since you've fallen, that's weird. And if you fall every single day, from this one in the same way, that's weird also. So just try to make sure that it changes sometimes. If balance is easy, challenge it today. If balance is very difficult today, work on just that, no more. All right, second set, right hand up, turn your arm out to the side, reach down, grab your foot from the inside at your ankle, two knees touch. Left arm up to the ceiling, shoulder close to the chin, palm face the front. Knees touch, chin up, spread your left toes, inhale, reach your left arm up and kick right leg back and up towards the ceiling, hard, high and continuously as possible. So again, right shoulder pulling back, strong left leg, reach your left arm forward, reach forward, shoulder underneath your chin. And here notice on your left leg, is your weight more on your heel or more towards the ball of your foot? And wherever it is, can you bring it a little less there, like a little bit more towards the middle? Body down, stretch forward, kick, 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 reach forward, kick, 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 change. Slowly lift up, good, and step right back down. Shift your weight over to your right leg, turn your left arm out to the side and reach down. Grab your left foot from the inside at your ankle, two knees touch, right toes, point forward, right arm up to the ceiling, shoulder close to the chin, palm face the front, knees touch, chin up. Inhale, reach all the way up to the ceiling and slowly kick your left leg back and up towards the ceiling. So yes, allow your back to bend. Like, is there any more your front side can yield to allow your back 
to bend more. Can you soften in your chest or shoulder muscles or stomach muscles to get a little more backward bend? And use your right arm strong, reach it forward again. Where is your weight in your right foot? Is it more back to the heel or more forward to the big toe? Can you put it a little more in the middle just to see what that feels like? Body down, stretch forward, kick, 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 change. Good, lift up to your base, step right back down and come to the back of the mat for the bouncing sticks. Stand with your feet together, touching side by side. And as you are here, we have a 30 second balancing stick on each side. Okay, please bring your arms up above your head, interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, cross your thumbs, squeeze your palms together, lift up your chin and lean your whole upper body back. Big step forward to the right leg. Point your left toes, straighten out your elbows, stretch up and let's go. Charge your body down parallel to the towel. So from the side, capital letter T, squeeze your palms together a little bit tighter, straighten your elbows a little bit more, tricep muscles tight, 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 and stretch back with your toes. Bring your body down, stand a little taller with your spine, every little bit of your spine reaching more forward. And please internally rotate your left leg, so inner left thigh up towards the ceiling more. Body down, leg up, stretch forward, reach back, stretch stretch, leg up, leg up, leg up, change. Good, step back one more time. A big step forward onto your left leg, point your right toes, straighten your elbows, stretch up and let's go, charge your body down, parallel to the towel. So from the side, capital letter T like tic-tac-toe. Bring your body down a little bit lower and leg up a little bit higher. Spread your left toes nice and wide and bring your left hip up towards the ceiling more. Inner right thigh up towards the ceiling more. Tricep muscles nice and tight. Stretch your fingers forward, reach back with your toes, body down, leg up. Arms up, Richard, leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up, change. Good, step back, arms out and down. Please come to the top of the towel and let's take a quarter turn off to your right side here. Good. So at the top of the mat, we're gonna combine these next three postures back to back. Toes and heels touch, please bring your arms up above your head. And a big step out to the right side, arms down parallel to the floor. Turn your toes in, spread your arms out. Inhale, lift your chest up. And exhale, slowly bring your body down. <coughs> And when you're all the way down, please reach around and grab your heels from outside, stepping on all five fingers of each hand. Squeeze the thighs throughout the posture. Reach your hips up towards the ceiling. Look at the floor. Look at that exact spot where you're going to touch your forehead to the floor. And don't change your eyes. Pull and stretch your body down from the lower spine towards the floor. Roll your weight forward like a wheel. Body weight a little forward more into your toes. Try to touch your forehead to the floor. And if you can't yet, it's all right. Open your legs a little more. And by the way, if it's easy to touch your head, take a little smaller step. Roll forward, shoulders up, good Katie. Roll forward, pull your elbows in, good David. Roll forward, long neck, reach your forehead lightly down onto your towel. Change, slowly come up, arms spread wide. Now turn your right foot out to the right side and sit down onto your right knee. This is the biggest step you've taken today for uh, triangle posture. Sit down, bounce, bounce, bounce a few times. Please turn your left toes in and bring your right knee to your right. Leave your right foot where it is. Hips forward, arms back, spine straight. Turn your palms. Go ahead, move both your arms at the same time. So right elbow touch the inside of the right knee. Yes. Fingers touch lightly between your big and second toe. Yes. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your left shoulder and stretch up with your left arm. Stretch down with your right arm. Stretch your arms apart in opposite direction here. Please squeeze your left thigh nice and tight. Left hip forward more. Good. Richard, bend your right knee just a little more. Push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Lean less. Lift your chest, David, and twist your body back at the end. Change. Move your arms. Straighten your legs. See how we're doing piece by piece. Turn your left foot out. Turn your right foot in and sit down. Bounce, bounce, bounce. A few times like motorcycle ride. It's awesome, Katie. Right toes turn in a little if you can. Hips forward, arms back, spine straight. Turn the palms. Move. Both your arms at the same time. 
Left elbow touch inside left knee, good. And fingers touch really lightly between your big and second toe. And resist the temptation to lean on your foot or the floor or the knee. If you have no arms, you could still do this well. Stand up nice and tall on this diagonal line and squeeze your right thigh tight, right hip forward more. Good, Richard, little more right hip forward. Push your left knee back, lean less. Lift your chest and twist your body back, right leg locked, right foot flat on the floor. Or change, move your arms, straighten your leg, turn your foot, step back, arms up. All right, now let's bring your hands in prayer and take a quarter turn off to the right side here for a standing separate leg, forehead to knee. Please bring your left hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips, one line from the side, stretch your arms up, squeeze your palms, tuck your chin, exhale, come down. All the way forward, bring your forehead to your knee. Look right at your stomach and pull your stomach in. And wherever you've put your hands, try to bring them very close to your toes, like not too far in front of them or out to the sides, but right there down so you can round your spine up towards the ceiling, right hip up more and left hip down more. And both your hips level to your towel, and both your feet down totally flat onto your mat. Bring your hands back in prayer position and slowly lift up the same way you went down. Arms and head together, all the way up. Good, turn, pivot around, face the other side, and right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times. Two hips, one line from the side. Shut your arms up, squeeze your palms shut, tuck your chin in, exhale, and come down slow, all the way forward, forehead to your knee. Look right in at your stomach, pull your stomach in and round your spine up here. Yes, good. All right, so left hip up more, a little bit Katie, a little bit richer, left hip up more, yes. And right hip down more, both hips level, both feet flat, hands back in prayer, lock out your knees and slowly lift up the same way you went down. Arms and head together, pause the face to back. Turn, pivot, step back, arms down, feet together, touching side by side, very good. We will do all that one more time, almost there. Toes and heels touch, please bring your arms back up above your head and everybody a big step out to the right side. Arms down, turn your toes in, spread your arms wide, lift your chest up and exhale, slowly bring your body down all the way forward. When you're down, reach around and grab your heels from outside. So stepping on all five fingers of each hand. You can grab your heels, grab the outsides of your feet and look at the floor right in between your toes. Pull and stretch your body down, good. So just bring a little squeeze in the thighs and a consistent pull. Even if it doesn't look like very much to anyone else, you are the only one that matters to you. If it feels like a good solid stretch, stay with it, perfect. And just keep that going. Shoulders pull up towards the ceiling. Elbows pull in towards the shins. Roll your weight forward towards your toes. Reach your butt up, pull your body down and long neck here. Touch your forehead lightly to your towel change. Slowly lift back up the same way and please turn your right foot out to the right side and sit down onto your right knee. Get down nice and low. Bring your hips forward again. Arms back, spine straight. Turn your palms and go ahead. Move both your arms at the same time. So right elbow touch inside right knee. Fingers touch slightly between your big and second toe. Look up to the ceiling. Touch your chin to your left shoulder. Stretch up left arm. Stretch down right arm. Stretch your arms apart here. Squeeze your left thigh, left hip forward more. And push your right knee back with the help of your right elbow. Lean less. Lift your chest. Twist your body back. Left leg locked. Left foot flat down on the floor. Change. Move your arm. Straighten your leg. Right foot turned in. Good. Piece by piece. I love it this time. Sit down onto your left leg. Bounce, bounce, bounce. A few times like motorcycle ride. Good. Hips forward. Arms back. Body back. Spine straight. Go ahead. Move both your arms at the same time. Left elbow, touch inside, left knee, look up towards the ceiling. Touch your chin to your right shoulder, stretch up right and down with left. Stretch your arms apart here, squeeze your right thigh, right hip forward more. Push your left knee back more, lean less, lift your chest, twist your upper body back at the end. Change, nice, Stephen. Hands in prayer position, take a little smaller step and let's quarter turn off to your right side, left hip forward. One, two, three, four, five times. Two hips, one line from the side. Switch your arms up, squeeze your palms shut, tuck your chin in, exhale, come down. Forehead to your knee.
all the way down. Look in at your stomach, pull your stomach in, around your spine up to the ceiling. Bring your weight forward to your front side leg and see if you can get your right hip up more, your left hip down more, both your hips level, both your feet flat, hands in prayer, lock your knees and slowly lift back up the same way you went down, all the way up. Pause, lift your toes, turn, pivot around and face the other side. Right hip forward, one, two, three, four, five times, two hips still in line from the side. Stretch your arms up, squeeze your palms shut, tuck your chin in, exhale, come down slow. All the way forward, forehead to your knee. Look right in that air stomach, pull your stomach in and round your spine up towards the ceiling as much as you can. All right, so you got left hip up more, right hip down more, both your hips level, both your feet down flat onto the floor. Hands back in pair position, slowly lift back up the same way you went down, arms and head together. When you are up, let's turn. Pivot, step back, arms down, feet together. All right. So let's finish up our standing series. Oh, that's good. Please bring your feet together, touching nicely right where you started, and shift your weight over to your left leg. And um, let's see here. If you can see me, I have uh, demonstrated this before, but just want to make sure we see it one more time. So here, when you bring the foot up, bring the knee up nice and high, and then turn the foot up on your thigh. If you just bring it up like that it puts stress on your knee that you don't need so let's try our best bring the right knee up pull the knee in kind of like a standing wind removing type thing and then turn the foot up on your thigh that's better for your knee and we want to make sure our knees work as well as possible for as long as possible slowly press your right knee down and back two knees in one line from the side see that your shoulders are level and your hips are level to the floor Bring your right hand to the center of your chest, and if your foot will stay there without slipping, left hand up also. When you're ready, if you're going down to toe stand, look at the floor, four feet in front of you, and hinge from your hips, and let's touch your hands, 10 fingers down onto your mat. Bend your knee, sit on your heel, and balance on your fingertips. Your hands come to the side of the body. Sit up really straight and tall with your spine. And slowly, left hand, right hand, center of your chest. Good. And if you got it, look forward. And if you can look forward, press up off your heel. Great, Katie. All right. So good. Nice, Stephen. Come on back up the same way, y'all. All the way back up. Excellent. And step right back down. Shift your weight over to your right leg and pick up your left foot. Again, do the same thing, that standing run, we're moving close, when we're moving, pull it up first and then bring the foot up on the thigh. Yeah. And slowly press your left knee down and back, two knees, one line. Hips forward, body back, stand up really tall and see your shoulders and your hips level to the floor. Left hand to the center. And if your foot will stay right hand up too. If you're going down, look at the floor, four feet in front of you and hinge from your hips. Touch your hands to your mat, bend your knee, sit on your heel and balance on your fingertips. Sit up tall, left hand, right hand, center. Good. And there is no rush whatsoever to bringing your hands in prayer. There's nothing magic about getting them there. If you want to float your fingers a couple centimeters off the floor, so it's like training wheels, boop, 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 boop. That works. You're doing everything there. When that flies for a while, then prayer. But anyway, always feel free to keep your hands low. All right, come on back up the same way. All the way back up and then step right back down. Thank yourself for a lovely standing series. That is done. Let us turn feet to the back wall, head to the front and relax. Gonna get right into it. Just make sure we get you out of here in your hour. We'll make sure we don't, don't get you late for anything later today. All right, and here we are. Let's please bring your right leg up and grab a few inches below your knee at your shin with all 10 of your fingers interlaced. Nice tight grip and pull. Pull your knee into your shoulder, avoiding your ribcage. Tuck your chin into your chest. 
and look right down the center line of your body for your ribs. Try to keep your left shoulder down on the floor and your left calf and your left low back and pull your right knee in just a little bit farther until you can feel that nice compression in your abdomen and that little friendly stopping point in your hip. Change straight now your right leg. Please bring your left leg up and grab a few inches below your knee at your shin. With all 10 fingers interlaced, nice tight grip, pull your knee into your shoulder. Tuck your chin into your chest and press the back of your neck down flat to the floor. Look right down the middle and squeeze your elbows into the side of the body. Pull your knee in a little bit farther and take and feel that nice compression. Pull and hold still. Change, straighten out your leg and bring both your legs up. Grab your elbows. Get your actual elbows in your hands. And if you can't get your elbows, you can get your forearms or your wrists or interlace your fingers. But if you can get your elbows, get your elbows and give yourself this humongous, really tight, big squeeze like a cannonball. Big, huge hug. Back of the neck down, space between the shoulders, your hips and your lower back down, eventually your entire spine totally flat down onto the floor. Pull and hold. Change. Straighten your legs and lay right back down into your dead pose. Let's get right into our next one with our sit up. So toes and heels together, please. Flex your toes back, bring your arms up, thumbs cross, inhale, sit up, grab your toes, bend your elbows, bring your forehead to your knee. And turn around, lie down on your stomach for a cobra posture, a cobra series, spine strengthening series, which we are also going to do back to back. So one after the other, just buckle up. Here it comes, two legs together, one piece like a cobra's tail. Squeeze your thighs, point your toes. Elbows in, shoulders down. Inhale, look up and lift your upper body off of the floor. Use the strength from your legs and your butt and your back. Lift up until just your belly button's down on the ground. Squeeze your elbows into the side of your body very tight. This is very much like a chaturanga. Really pull it in there, really, really tight. And pull your shoulders down. Now squeeze the thighs, point the toes, nice long neck. Stand up, head up, chest up, look up, come up, lift up. One more time, hold change. Lower back down right away, arms underneath your body, palms flat on the floor. Little baby fingers touch each other side by side and chin out on the mat. Right leg locked and right leg lift up. 45 degrees, half of 90 here. Make sure your left leg is relaxed and not helping you at all. Lift your right leg up more and reach your right foot straight back towards the wall behind you, please. Bring your chin more forward, bring your toe more back, spread your fingers, grip your mat, bring your leg up, please reach your leg back. Leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up, leg up. Change, down, right leg relax, left leg lock, left leg lift up. 45 degrees, half of 90. Here, make sure your right leg's relaxed, not helping lift your left leg up more. Good, long neck, chin more forward and toe more back. Spread your fingers, grip your mat and leg up one more time. Change, bring it right back down. Bring your mouth to the towel like you're giving your towel a kiss. Bring your hands closer to your knees and elbows closer to each other. Mouth down, eyes open, both legs at the same time. Lift both your legs up off the floor as much as you can today. And it doesn't matter how much up you go, but come up as much as you can. Use your hands, use your face, press them down. Give me everything you have. Struggle a little bit. Lift your legs up off the floor. Change, nice, David. Come right back down. Arms out to the side like airplane wings. All five fingers together, touching side by side and two legs together, one piece. Squeeze your thighs, point your toes. Inhale, eyes open, look up and let's go. Lift everything arms, body, head, chest, legs, everything up off the floor. And please don't forget your legs. They are just as important as your arms and your chest. Hey, y'all, bring your legs up more. 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 And chest up, chest up, chest up, eyes up, arms up, arms back, legs up. Lift everything up one more time. Reach your highest point. Change. Lower back down. Good. Bend your knees and grab your feet from outside a couple inches below the toe 
Knees and feet about shoulder width distance apart from each other and thumbs touch your index finger. Inhale, look up towards the ceiling and together please go ahead and kick your legs into your hands. So your thighs will come up off the floor, your feet come to the center line of the body. From the sides you look like a little drop. Roll forward to the soft part of your stomach then stop rocking and look up towards your toes. Turn your kick on stronger. Look up, head up, kick up, kick back, roll forward, stomach in, kick, breathe, please, kick, 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 change. Lower down, look over to your right side. Put your whole left ear on the ground. Now look over to your left side. Put your whole right ear on the ground. And bring your chin out on the mat and come to the top of your towel. Come sit with your knees together. Open your feet apart to the side and sit between your feet. Hips to the floor, heels touch the outsides of your hips. Bring your hands to your feet, fingers face forward and come down slowly. One elbow down at a time. And remembering if it doesn't feel good to go backwards, you don't, you can stay up. If you're all the way down, grab your elbows over your head and pull your elbows down to the floor. Tuck your chin into your chest, look right down your middle. And if your knees feel good, squeeze your knees together. Eventually your knees will touch side by side. Bring your hands back to your feet and come up the same way. All right, let's take a big scoot back to the middle of your mat and sit with your knees and feet together. Sit your hips on your heels. Arms up over your head, hands in prayer. Cross your thumbs, straighten your elbows. Inhale, stretch all the way up towards the ceiling. And exhale, slowly bring your body down, forehead to the floor. Knife said to the baby fingers, touch the top to stretch your arms forward towards the front as much as you are able. And press your hips straight back down onto your feet. So you got your nose on the towel here. Neck straight, eyes open, breathing's normal. Reach forward, squeeze the bubble out of your palms, close them all the way shut. Stretch forward and reach your hips straight back down towards your feet. Squeeze your knees together, pull your stomach in and slowly lift back up the same way you went down. Arms and head together. Arms down, please come stand up on your knees. Knees and feet hip width distance apart from each other. Bring your hands to your lower back, thumbs on the outside and fingers face the floor. Ready? Inhale, lift your chest up to the ceiling. Come back halfway and very slowly, when it's time, reach down one hand at a time. Right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel. Fingers inside, thumbs outside, nice tight grip. Please don't lose your grip. Push your hips, stomach, thighs, forwards more. Lean less on your heels and lift up more through your chest. Now let your head and eyes come all the way back. Look all the way down towards your toes. Slowly bring your hands to your hips. I like that, David. Looks good. And sit right back down onto your heels. Take a second here. We'll do another set. Just breathe. Okay, let's go again. Come stand up on your knees. Knees and feet hip with distance apart. Hands on your lower back, thumbs outside, fingers face the floor. Inhale, lift your chest up and come back halfway, stop in the center. Reach down one hand at a time again, grab right hand, right heel, left hand, left heel, fingers inside, thumbs outside, nice tight grip. Push your hips, stomach, thighs forward more towards the front and lean less down on your heels. Lift more up to your chest and let your head and eyes come back again. Look all the way down towards your toes, hips forward, chest up, look all the way down. <clears throat> Bring your hands to your hips and come right back out the same way you went in. Sit back down onto your heels. And now let's wrap the towel up over your feet if you'd like a wrap and grab your feet over your towel or just grab your feet with the fingers inside, thumbs outside, nice tight grip, please. Grab your heels, tuck your chin to your chest, exhale and come forward slowly. Forehead to your knee. Top of your head to the floor, pull. Lift your hips in the air and roll forward like a wheel until your elbows have totally straightened. 
when they have, if your forehead isn't touching on your knees yet, walk your knees up to meet with your head and squeeze your knees together, squeeze your feet together, pull your shoulders up and suck your stomach and roll forward. Pull a little bit harder and lift your hips up one more time, please. Hold, 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 change. Sit back down, curl up, lift your head up last and pause. Let's do it one more time. Grab your heels, nice tight grip. Tuck your chin into your chest. Exhale and come forward slowly, forehead to your knee. Top of your head to the floor, pull. Lift your hips in the air. A row forward like a wheel until your elbows have totally straightened. And again, if your forehead isn't touching your knees, walk your knees up to meet with your head. Squeeze your knees together. Squeeze your feet together. Pull your shoulders up. Suck your stomach in. Row forward. Pull a little bit harder. And lift your hips up in the air this one more time. Change. Sit right back down. Curl right back up. Lift your head up last. And let's go right into the next one. Right leg out to the right side corner. Left leg in. Left sole of your foot touching your inner right thigh. Arms up above your head. Interlace your fingers. Turn to your right side and grab your right foot a few inches below the toes. Heel forward. Toes back. Tuck your chin and exhale. Come down. Forehead to your knee. And bend your elbows down alongside your calf muscle. Eventually, your elbows will touch down onto the floor. Squeeze the elbows in to touch your calf. Squeeze your right thigh nice and tight and lift your heel up off the floor and flex your foot back towards your head. Roll inside, left shoulder down, left elbow down. Bend both your elbows down alongside your calf one more time. Change. Lift up, left leg out, right leg in. Turn to your left side, round down, grab your left foot a few inches below the toe. Ten fingers interlaced, nice tight grip. Kick your heel forward, flex your foot back, forehead to your knee. Bend your elbows down alongside your calf muscles. Squeeze the top of your left thigh nice and tight. Lift your heel up and flex your foot back towards the top of your head. Roll in, right shoulder down, roll in, right elbow down, roll in. Squeeze your left thigh, lift your heel up. Flex your foot back towards your head one more time change lift up bring your feet forward lie down your hands hit the floor behind you come and sit back up double exhale grab your toes bend your elbows bring your forehead to your knee take your peace signs grab the two big toes and walk your butt back like right left right left right left right left 10 or 15 times walk back a bunch squeeze the thighs lift the heels up and flex all 10 toes back sit up straight and tall with your spine and slowly bend your elbows down alongside your calf muscle Eventually, your elbows will touch down onto the floor. Reach your forehead towards your toes and flex your toes back towards your nose. Look forward, reach your forehead towards your feet. Hold here. Change, good. All right, let's stay there. Bend your left leg on the floor, left heel touching the outside of your right heel. A right hip, excuse me, and right heel touching your left knee corner. Right hand back, left arm up and over. Grab your left knee with your left hand, hand knee heel, three things in place. Press down to your right arm, sit up really tall, and look over your right shoulder to the back wall and twist, ringing out your spine from the top to the bottom. And when you're ready to try taking right hand round behind your back and grab the top of the left thigh, push your left arm into your right knee and Press your right hip down, right foot flat, stretch up, look back, turn back, reach back, twist, twist, twist. Change, do the opposite, please. Bend your right leg on the floor, right heel touching outside of your left hip and left heel touching right knee corner, left hand back, right arm up and over, grab your right knee with your right hand. Hand knee heel, three things, one place. Press down to your left arm, sit up straight and look over your left shoulder to the back wall, twist. Ringing out your spine from top to bottom. And when you're ready, take your left hand, wrap around behind your back and grab to the top of your right thigh. Push your right arm to your left knee, stretch up, look back, turn back, reach back, twist, 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 change. All right, and let's sit with your knees and feet together. Sit with the hips on the heels. Put the hands on the knees, straighten out your elbows. Sit up really tall with your spine, this final breathing, exhale out. A sharp exhale, full exhale. Air goes out, belly goes in, everything else stays still. Straighten your elbows, sit up tall, exhale together, and together please begin.
a little bit faster here. Push the air a little bit farther forward. Push it a little bit harder forward. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Turn around, lie down on your back. Open your legs, open your arms, close your eyes and take a nice long dead pose. You've got none in this class. It's important to get at least one nice long one right now. All right, this is one of those places we go to recharge. And nobody ever judges you for plugging in your car or going to get gas. But if you run out of gas on the side of the road, sometimes people are like, what happened, buddy? What happened? So continue to take care of yourself when you know you need it. And the more you do your yoga, the more you'll know when you need it. Take good care of you so you can take good care of others. Thank you for being here today, you all. I appreciate you. See you soon. Namaste. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.